how it all started um, with around 14 with around 14 years next please I had a, a quite well equipped lab in the cellar of the house of my of my parents there you can do really nice valuable chemical experiments but honestly a little bit later my attention was concentrated to explosives and looking back it's a miracle that I still have 10 fingers and two eyes so in essence I would say I say this was not a good idea and next one please and it was also not a good idea in this period of time 14 years so please excuse me um, I also spilled a few drops of tear gas on the desk of my teacher where it slowly but surely evaporates and the result you see there but later on um, my interest becomes more and more serious next slide please and I studied, started to study chemistry at the University of Munich typically um, chemistry study is four to five years till the diploma with a pre-diploma examination in the in the middle um, and if you want to change university uh, the best way to do it is after this pre-diploma examination or for a PhD study a PhD study for chemist is more or less mandatory when you want to apply afterwards for the interesting and well-paid jobs this is around also two to four years in, in addition to the diploma uh, <coughs> studies and you can even do it in the same university or you go go abroad and if you want to apply afterwards for for an academic career to become professor at a university um, <coughs> it's also more or less mandatory that, that you then uh, execute one or two postdoc uh, studies each for one to two years so it's it's quite a, a very long um, education what you have to to pass until until you get a, a PhD in chemistry next one please what can you do then with this as I said you can become professor at a university or teacher at school but the majority of chemists starting their career in the chemical industry and so did I on on the Linz side this is uh, indeed where we are located here this is a chemical park uh, the former Kimi Linz where actually are um, producing four different uh, companies uh, uh, a variety of, of chemicals on the side and I started next one please and I started in R&D this is also the typical entry gate for young chemists when you start your career in the chemical in the chemical industry but in the industry R&D is of course result oriented you need to bring uh, tangible results is not only research um, and you can really very quick went over to to production to see on live scale if your ideas work or not this is a very energizing experience at least for me it was so energizing that I decided after a short period of time to move to production and I have uh, till today more than 20 years ago with the people out of this this area contact uh, because this was really an as I said an energizing experience to went to, to a huge plant you have ideas as a chemist and you see how it works and you can earn money with it what else could you do next slide please with an education of a chemist you be can become an expert expert career this is something what you should do when you are really interested in every aspect every detail of one specific topic and later on then you are the guy in your company who will be called from all over the world and ask for his or her opinion these kind of uh, jobs typically you find really in, in worldwide operating 
chemical companies, not in, in small ones. And, um, and it's quite similar to being a professor, I think. What else can you do? Next one, please. You can go to marketing and sales. Also, after having started in, in R&D, you have with customer project first contacts to customers. And when you see, I like this, interactions, this experience talking to, to customers, uh, bringing my own ideas to the market, helping the company to earn money with it, then you should choose for this career path going to marketing and sales. Typically, after R&D you start then as a product manager, developing uh, marketing and sales plans for, for one product or for a small portfolio. And of course, you need to be extrovert for this kind of job. Next one, please. Yeah, and if you add to your chemistry education an MBA, working in different companies uh, abroad or, or in your own country and, and have had different jobs, five or six, yeah, then you're fit for general management and become manager for things not covered by other managers. But last, last but not least, the next one, and this was the career path I uh, selected, is a so-called operations management. Operations management means that you are responsible for the production in the facility, that you are responsible for maintaining the plant, that you are responsible for technology development, that you are responsible for a huge amount of cost, what you have to manage and to bring it down. I have a question on R&D. I have this image of, uh, of you know, a technician in a lab and it's got all these uh, colored liquids and mm -hmm. it's bubbling around and stuff. Is that how the lab actually looks for mm -hmm. chemists these days? More or less it is, yeah. Uh, with the exception, uh, we try to contain the chemicals inside these glass tubes, yeah, so no bubbling outside of it. <coughs> But indeed, typically, we're starting our research in, in development in, 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 in small scale uh, glass apparatus, what we have on a, on a desk, of a, uh, on a labor desk, so laboratory, yes. How is it going to look like for us? Uh, how, a how is the job situation for chemists right now? <coughs> actually, actually I, I would say the, the job situation is okay it's okay it's it's not um, it's it's not uh, that we are running out of, of chemists so it's uh, but it's also not not easy to find good chemists yeah let me let me phrase it so if you want to have my opinion how will it be when you uh, end a school starting chemistry studies uh, approximately this will be five years in the future yeah I don't know what will be the situation in 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 five years no? But uh, to be honest, uh, I think the occupation possibilities for chemists yeah, are so broad that you, with, with really in engagement afterwards, you will found a job anyhow. And if you like to study chemistry, do it. You need curiosity, stamina, and as I said, uh, high frustration tolerance. <laughs> and then you are nearly a perfect chemist, so. <laughs>